AmericanOutdoorsmanGear.com. Built for those who are born to roam. When you start somebody new, we'll have a lot of viewers that have probably never picked up a flower in their life but always intended to. What do they what do they do wrong immediately? Try to over yeah. overpower it? The arm. Where where ninety percent of the people get into it, they get in the arm, okay? And and they're breaking their wrist, they're breaking their wrist back, okay? Uh -huh. Which throws a nice big tailing loop and then their their forward cast is out of kilter. They don't have control and and uh, and they have a, a sloppy forward cast mm -hmm. because they're throwing so much slack in the back cast. Because you have to straighten the rod out, the your line has to load the rod and you have to get it straightened out before you make a nice forward cast. Mm -hmm. With that big wide tailing loop it's, it's difficult. Mm -hmm. So the moral of the story is and and for to teach casting, I mean to teach fishing, casting relative to uh, related to fishing, it's here. It's right in here. Yeah. And that's if I, for instance, if I make a cast like this, see it go up in the air? Sure. Now, let's say I wanted to go back under something, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm dead. I'll never get back under it. So that stroke right there, gave it, it, it tightened it, okay? It, now I'm right in, I'm right in, and that was what you call a tuck. Uh -huh. And now I'm in, in touch with the, the, the nymphs right off, right off the cast. Sure. One of the things I like to do, I like to have people drop down on their knee like this, and, it, and, and they'll put their elbow, force their elbow on their knee. Mm -hmm. Now, and, and, and then when they make the back, the, the back cast, they lift into the cast, meaning they, the rod stops straight up and down on the, on the back cast, and then comes forward, okay? And wow. a, with a little tap here and a little tap there. And the, and the tap is up on the back cast. From thumb to el from your thumb to your elbow, it's one piece, and you take it right up into the cat. Okay? So it goes like this: you stick it up, you take it forward and tap it. Now you have a cat. Oh. And and what this does, it forces with your with your hand on your elbow, it forces you to Just get the arm out wow. and the wrist in. It's keeping in control. That's right. It's, it's line the whole control. Deal, right? You're line right. Line control in it. You bet it is. Okay. There you go. So one of our tips was uh, yeah. kind of came true with that yeah. short, this nice little short, short stroke, and and we finally uh, talked this little fellow right into it. Huh. So uh, what they, the picture's worth a thousand words, and, yeah. and there's 250 of them right here. <laughs> <laughs> That's a beautiful fish, isn't it? Gee whiz. Nice thing about them, and you can admire a fish, but I, I use barbless hooks, mm -hmm. and simply just, if you touch a fish, you harm a fish so many times. You know, I see people pick up the fish and admire it, and everybody sure. looks at it. You just release the fish this way, and and, and he's happy, and, and you're happy, and there's happiness abounds. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I was a fish, Joe, I don't know who I'd rather be caught by, but than you. Well, <laughs> that's that's why I, I practice this because you know they say, well, Joe, uh, he handles us so so gently, and and uh, we'd rather be caught by him because he doesn't hurt us at all. Yeah. <laughs> He uses barbers hooks. Yeah, he uses barbers hooks. Catch and release. Well, see if we can find one more. One more in there. there.